The 2014 Chevrolet Silverado is the best truck for you if you want a pickup revolution disguised as a pickup evolution. Everything is new about the 2014 edition of General Motors best-selling vehicles. Bodies, engines, interior, cargo beds. You're forgiven if you can't immediately spot the differences though. The 2014 Silverado and its GMC Sierra cousin look hardly different than the models they replace. That probably won't matter to most buyers. Pickup truck loyalty runs deep and goes beyond styling. I'm Chuck Giametta. Join me for a carpreview.com video review of the 2014 Chevrolet Silverado. Silverado and Sierra are redesigned for the first time since 2007. They go from the oldest trucks to the newest in a class that includes the Ford F-150, Ram 1500, Toyota Tundra, and Nissan Titan. Dimensions are basically unchanged. The Silverado regular cab returns. The extended double cab gets four conventional doors rather than a clamshell arrangement. And the crew cab is now available with both longer and shorter cargo beds. We'll talk about the engines in a moment. There's still a V6 and two V8s, but critics are already moaning about the styling. Some say the new Silverado doesn't look, well, new. The most obvious visual difference is this taller, more elaborate front end. The fender bulges are squared off and more prominent, and the truck is more aerodynamic, but new looking or not, the 2014 Silverado isn't gonna win any beauty contests. There are some great design details though. The doors are deeply inset to reduce wind rush and the wheel welds are fully flocked against road noise. These built-in bumper steps and convenient handholds make it easy to climb into the bed and you can get very cool under rail LED lighting. The all new interior has a handsome dashboard with a six gauge instrument cluster. Most Silverado models feature a four or an eight inch screen and Chevy's user-friendly MyLink connectivity. The front seats are buckets or bench, depending on model, and are generously proportioned. You can get heated and cooled leather seating, a heated steering wheel, power adjustable pedals, and other amenities. The biggest improvement, literally, is in crew cab rear seat accommodations. Wider opening doors and two inches more leg room bring it from the back of the class to fully competitive. Cabin materials quality on all models is quite good. This up-level LTZ has a nicely stitched dashboard, and GM finally gives these trucks controls large enough to use while wearing work gloves. There are plenty of power points, a 110 volt outlet, and up to five USB ports. We especially like this row of toggles on this model for the power pedals, park assist, and lane departure warning which vibrates the driver's seat should you wander outside the lines. One issue is this knob to switch between two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive. It's rather dainty and the indicator is a tiny light that's difficult to see when the sun is shining on it. All three engine sizes are familiar to Silverado fans, but these are new designs engineered for full-size trucks. They're all aluminum, have direct fuel injection, and each switches to four cylinders to save fuel. The 4.3 liter V6 has 285 horsepower, 305 pound-feet of torque, and can tow up to 7,200 pounds. The 5.3 liter V8 has 355 horses, 383 pound-feet, and an 11,500 pound trailer rating. The 6.2 liter V8, projected at 420 horsepower and 450 pound-feet of torque, can tow 12,000 pounds. All use a six-speed automatic transmission and come with two or four-wheel drive, including available full-time four-wheel drive. Pickup owners do care about fuel economy, and the redesign edges Silverado ahead of Ford and Ram. Frankly, though, if you can average more than 18 miles per gallon combined city highway with any full-size pickup, you deserve a trophy. If they're honest with themselves, many Silverado buyers would be perfectly happy with the new V6, but the majority is going to go for the 5.3 liter V8 and never be sorry they don't have a Hemi or an EcoBoost. Ram still leads this class for ride quality, but two things stand out about this truck. Just how remarkably quiet it is and how successfully it's made the transition to electric power steering. This is very precise. 
The 2014 Silverado comes in seven models, from bare-knuckle work trucks starting around $25,000 to the newly minted $50,000 High Country Luxury Edition. Most pickup buyers choose crew cabs, and Silverados start at $32,700. Take a typical Silverado bestseller, a four-wheel drive crew cab, short bed, and LT2 trim with a 5.3 liter V8, cloth bucket seats, navigation, a popular convenience package, and you're looking at 41.5. With its redesigned Silverado and Sierra, General Motors has given its big pickup truck buyers just about everything they needed, even if the styling wasn't what everyone wanted. For more on cars, trucks, and SUVs, go to carpreview.com.